Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another big exciting day in my kitchen. Today, we're going to grandma's, we're going to mama's house, we're going to go to Italy, probably Amalfi Coast. I'm thinking Sorrento. You know why? As you know from my uh, title here, we're going to make Italian lemon ice or lemon Italian ice. <laughs> I've seen it all different ways, but I know this. It's going to have lemon, sugar, lots of love, and lots of deliciousness. And it's just the perfect treat in hot summer days. I've had it all throughout Italy, but I'm going to bring you cooking Italian with Joe. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Italian lemon ice with all the secrets of old Italy. Mm, I'm excited. You guys excited? Okay, come on. Take a trip with me. Let's go over ingredients. So real easy, real simple, center stage, we're going to need some lemons, lemonades, right? So we are going to need uh, at least eight lemons, and I'm going to say medium size. If they were Sorrento lemons, you only need one because they can be like that big. So you're going to need about eight to nine lemons to make this for about six to eight servings. Next, you're gonna need some water. Now, what I want you to do, and I want you to consider, I'm gonna use spring water. I don't wanna use tap water. I don't want any flavor, you know, metal, chlorine. I want nothing in there other than beautiful, pure spring water. So I've got two cups of spring water. Now you're gonna need some sugar. So here I've got one and a quarter cups of granulated white sugar. You're gonna want some lemon zest. I mean, please, we're gonna want lemon zest. Oh. Oh, God, I love the smell of lemons. Aren't they fantastic? So what I did here is about three lemons zested. So you're going to end up with about two tablespoons, not teaspoons, two tablespoons of lemon zest. Next, we're going to add a little something sweet, and this is a little secret from Nona. This is like old Italy stuff. So we're going to add two tablespoons of honey. Oh, honey's a little sweeter. It's got a little bit different flavor. And a lot of people are unaware of this. In Italy, uh, you know, sugar cane, actually, especially with poor people, wasn't something that you could get easily. But what you could get is honey. It was very common for people to cultivate bees. So you get, you know, you get honey as a sweetener. So you see a lot of the older or original recipes, or if you talk to, uh, if you talk to some of the people in Italy in those poor areas, they're always going to add a honey. Now we're going to add another little secret, and that's going to be vanilla. Now we're going to add just a smidgen of vanilla. So we're going to add a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. And it's not enough to where you're really tasting the vanilla, but the vanilla is going to add a richness to the flavor. It's, it's going to create a little bit more like a bolder flavor to the lemon, a little bit stronger on its base. Last, you're going to need some olive oil. Actually, no, you're not going to need olive oil in this recipe. But if you were to add olive oil to this recipe, you're going to want something phenomenal. I'm going to want extra virgin. I'm going to want Italian only. I want to want Puglian because Puglian olives make the best olive oil. I know I'm a little biased on that. Hmm, grassy, earthy, peppery, where would I go? Oh, I know, Vito and Joe's. Hey, for anybody new to our channel, we own a farm in Italy. We co-op with a whole group of farms in Italy, in Puglia, to bring you some of the best olive oil you're ever going to taste. It's Vito and Joe's Extra Virgin Olive Oil. And if you guys go right to my website, Cooking Italian with Joe, or right to my Facebook page, Cooking Italian with Joe, click buy it now. We got a little discount for multiple orders. We'll literally drop ship it right to your front doorstep. I think of it as a trip to Italy right in a bottle. Okay, guys, enough chatting. Let's get cooking. Freezing. Both, actually. We're doing both. All right, meet you guys at the stove. Step number one, guys, we want to make a simple syrup with our water and our sugar. And I'll tell you what's really important in this. We want to flavor the ice. So sometimes I see people like add lemon to ice. No, 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 no. That's not going to bring you something fantastic. We actually want the water, the ice, to have the flavor within it. So simple. I've got my spring water, two cups. I've got one and a quarter cups of sugar. I've got my half of a teaspoon of vanilla two tablespoons of honey. Now we're gonna give this a stir. What we're looking to do here is fully dissolve the granulation of the sugar, mix the vanilla, mix the honey, and make a simple syrup. So kind of like a thick, sweet water. Now your question is, why do I need eight lemons? What do I need eight lemons for? So for this recipe, we're gonna use one and a half cups of lemon juice. Now listen, you could start doing this, you know, and you could start doing a reamer. I'm not saying not to do that. I'm not saying that's a bad idea. And if that's all you got, that's what you got to do. I understand that. But listen, this is cooking it down with Joe. You know what I mean? What we got here is a Hemi, a Dodge. This baby's going to make some lemon juice. You know what I'm saying? So this is simple and fun. So I already got about two-thirds of a cup. So I'm going to go at least a cup and a half. Let me show you how to work my Dodge Hemi over here. 
So I'm gonna slice my lemon in half, pop it in the press, and then I'm gonna give it a squeeze. Gives you a workout, you know what I mean? Abdominal muscles, triceps, a little bit of the neck, and then you're just gonna give it a simple press. Oh, that makes life easy, doesn't it? I mean, there's nothing left. There's nothing left inside of it. Guys, am I looking pumped from that great workout? Okay, my sugar water or my simple syrup is done. So a couple of tips on this. Number one, I wanna cool it down a little bit. So shut the heat off, take it off the heat before we add the lemon juice or our zest. A Couple other tips that make this come out great. Subscription to Cooking Italian with Joe YouTube channel. You with me? So guys, when you click that red button, hey, it's Father's Day, come on. Help a dad out, will ya? When you click it, hey, any new recipes, any new trips, any new blogging with Boreo, comes right to your notification box. And I'll tell you what, it means a lot to me when you subscribe to the channel. Hey, it makes you part of the family, you know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, on the olive oil, you probably already ordered it, but if you didn't, just click the link, it's coming right to your house. I can actually feel it being shipped to your house as we speak. Guys, so first I'm gonna add my lemon juice, one and a half cups, and I'm gonna do that because that's gonna cool down my syrup immediately. Now I'm going to take my lemon zest, I'm going to put it right in there, now I'm going to give everything a stir. So I'm going to let this set for probably 5 to 10 minutes, just to bring down the temperature, let it start to cool. Guys, my lemon juice is ready to go, I've got myself a pan, and I've got a nice big area that's flat and secure in my freezer, alright? And then what I'm going to do is just gently pour this right inside the pan. Guys, let's talk aroma. Oh, ho, ho, that's going to be good. Now comes the easiest, most difficult part. It's called anticipation and frustration. So what you basically have to do now is you got to put this in the freezer. It's going to be at least three hours, maybe four hours, and you're going to use a fork. Now I see some people use an ice cream maker. I'm not telling you not to do that. Here's my advice. This isn't a sorbet. It's granulated. It's got larger crystals of the sugar. That's the way it's traditionally served and, and that's the way it's traditionally made. So you're going to use a fork and every hour, once it starts to get kind of slushy, you're going to stir it up and break up any of the large crystallizations, any of the large frozen sections. And that's the tough part because every hour you're going to be like, is it done yet? Is it done yet? In this case, the crystal itself is got the flavor so every part that melts in your mouth just releases more and more of the flavor and that's what makes this recipe so delicious guys time for the freezer so guys it's been in there about an hour maybe an hour and a half you see how it's starting to freeze so what you're going to do is you're going to use your fork we're looking for a granulation a little bit like granulated snow you're trying to get rid of any large clusters of ice and that's perfect. Now I'm gonna put this back in the freezer for another hour. Guys, it's been about four hours. Mm, I'm telling you, it's looking good. So what I did is I pulled it out every hour, just mixed it up a little bit with that fork, made sure there weren't any big clumps. There's some granita for you. So let me show you what this looks like. So it's a perfect granulation, and that's really what granita means. It means granules, granulated. So I'm gonna grab the hardest part, then I'll throw it back in the freezer. And guys, a nice finish is a little mint. So I'm just gonna put maybe one or two leaves in there. A perfect finish is a little mint leaf. There you go. How beautiful is that? Okay guys, my favorite part, here we go. One of the best ideas is put it in a glass. Because as it melts, especially on a hot summer day, today is really hot, you can actually, you know, you can drink it, right? Little trick on this for the adults, you can put a little limoncello in there, you know what I mean? Which I did not on this, just so you know. I'll tell you the aroma of the lemon, my mouth is like bursting. You guys see the granulation in there? Here you go, ready? Cooking Italian with Joe. Eat a vision. The aroma is perfect. I mean, the lemon just like uh, kicks out at you. Get a little bit of the mint. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Woo! Mmm, that is perfect. You know what's so perfect about it? First off, the aroma, it just brings me back to Nona's kitchen. I can remember as a kid sitting there watching her out of the freezer, you know, with a fork as she was scraping it. The combination is so perfect with lemon and sugar. You get that little change of sweetness right near the end from the honey and the vanilla too. It just creates that extra body of flavor. The amount of sour is perfect. And then just when you think like, man, that's sour, the sugar comes right in on the back end. I gotta tell you guys, that Italian lemon ice right there, molto bono, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely delicious. Another fun day, Father's Day here in my kitchen. Guys, thanks for joining me for a fun-filled day, making a special treat for your family. Remember, hit that red subscribe button. Hey, make you part of the family. Remember to hit our website or our Facebook page, Cooking Italian with Joe. Grab yourself a bottle of Vito and Joe's olive oil. We'll drop ship it right to your house. A trip to Italy right in a bottle, no doubt. And guys, in closing, my last tip, but certainly my most important tip, you know, every week, every couple times a month, get around the table with your family and celebrate your heritage. And most important, a recipe like this, 
set some traditions. They're gonna last you a lifetime. I know they did for me. Hey guys, from my kitchen to yours, until next week, mwah, bon appetito.